Hey, it's Ken and Cha here from shop3d.ca. Welcome back to another unboxing. Today, of course, we have the most exciting thing we've had since the start of 2025, and that, of course, is the Bamboo H2D Combo. And we've been waiting for this unit to get here since... Uh, forever. Since forever. So, let's not wait any longer. Let's crack it open. So this is a brand new unit. Uh, we have not previously opened it, so a lot of this is new to us. And it looks very well packed. I'm loving it. Yeah, I, I really like the way that uh, Bamboo has packaged their uh, printers. Uh, you can see a lot of the foam inserts to help uh, protect the big unit uh, from any sort of incidents during delivery. So we just removed the accessory box on top and it is a very big unit. I mean, that's gonna be the main thing is that it's gonna be much bigger than the X1C and X1E series. So, and, and just remember, can. keep your packaging with you because just keep your box and your packaging, it says so on the box as well. But just in case anything happens, if you need to ship this unit, you wanna make sure that you have all the packaging with you and you don't have to buy new packaging. Yeah, I got a sticker on my side, so. Once that's done, we should be able to open it. There we go, and then it goes back down. And there's a handle on the bottom. And we'll be able to lift this unit up. So ready, one, one two, two, three. Great. All right, so uh, you can see the top cover is protected by another piece of cardboard up here. So we'll remove that so we can access the Top glass. So typically, uh, Bamboo has always shipped their um, their AMS unit inside the printer itself. Uh, you can see up here the glass uh, top window is actually encased in this cardboard. So we'll just sort of put that aside for now because we need to access the front of the printer. I gotta say, from all the printers I've ever unpacked, this one is packed amazingly. Yeah, I, I think Bamboo put a lot of thought into the way that they're packaging these units. You can see even here, you know, in rare occasions where the front is glass and, uh, and uh, glass can break, so inside, uh, Bamboo has thought about placing the glass door inside a bag. And, and I've actually encountered this um, where um, it ha the front door has broken, but it doesn't leave a mess because all the broken pieces are contained within this bag here. Okay? So Bamboo's really thought about the packaging when it comes to uh, shipping their, their printers and the uh, rare occasion incidents that can occur. Yeah. yeah, and I can also see that inside the head is secured uh, with these tabs and zip ties to make sure nothing is moving around. Uh, while we're shipping it. Oh, the other really cool improvement that we can see is the door now opens 180 degrees instead of the 90 degree opening from the uh, X1C, which is a welcome improvement. I believe there is an Allen key set inside the accessories box that comes with the printer. So inside the accessories box, uh, you're gonna have a couple of items. Um, some PTFE tubes along with silica packets. Uh, you're gonna get the external spool holder, which is kind of cool. Everybody loves the, the swatches, the filament swatches that Bamboo provides. And lastly, the toolbox. Yeah, here it Here's an Allen key. You know what, Cha? Uh, I think uh, I'll just leave you to it and... Uh... <laughs> Okay. Uh, let, let me know when it's ready. Yeah, of course. Sure.
What's really nice about the bamboo is that there is a walkthrough on during the setup. Um, so some of the stuff, it, you can sort of follow along. So I've already removed many of the screws uh, that basically secure the AMS to the bill plate, uh, which also binds the Z axis. I've also removed the zip ties that held the print head down. So at this point, we're ready to go with the calibration. The calibration total time right now is at 30 minutes. So we're gonna start that and uh, the machine's sort of gonna go on its own now. Everything is sort of done on its own. You just basically start the calibration process, walk away for half an hour, come back, everything is done. And, uh, and then you're ready to start uh, printing. So uh, I guess, uh, tell me some of your first impressions or what you noticed most. Uh, so a couple of things, I, right off the bat, I love the way the, the H2D look. Uh, aesthetically, it's very pleasing for a 3D printer. It's very clean. Uh, the touch screen is very responsive. Uh, the reaction to the touch is very good. Uh, overall, the setup was relatively easy, I would say, when it comes to setting up a 3D printer with tool print heads. Uh, generally, the calibration process in some of the other uh, uh, manufacturers is a little bit more hands-on to calibrate the offset between the left and the right nozzle. A lot of the processes is hands-off and it's almost like childproof. Uh, another thing that really stands out if you're coming from an old sort of X1 series printer is that the uh, linear rods and bearings and also the smooth rods is thickened and uh, it's toughened up. Now we've had dual uh, head, dual nozzle printers before. Yep. Tell me about what's special about what Bamboo has done with their H2D. Right, so uh, I think one of the unique things that Bamboo has done is that the extruder is actually a single unit. So traditionally, many of our other uh, dual head uh, printers uh, used a single motor per extruder. And Bamboo has optimized this into a single extruder on the print head. And it will basically switch in between the left hot end and the right hot end. Uh, and I think the main reason why they did this is to save weight on the print head because it is a uh, sort of core XY system. I mean, we've had other printers before uh, and this is a bigger printer, so it you know bigger prints are going to take longer yeah. period of time. Yeah, so I think this is one of the standout features that that I personally is uh, looking forward to. This is this is one of the things that I think a lot of people sort of enjoy the Bamboo Lab printers is the the print speed, where you're exceeding 120, 200, 300 millimeters per second uh, while you're sort of printing along, and and even faster in in some cases. Um, and you can expect the same thing on this printer uh, when you're printing with PLA, PETG. Uh, so, you know, sort of when you're going through iterations, uh, this printer will be able to keep up with you. Well, Cha, I think you've done a great job unboxing this unit. You've set it up, so I think it's pretty much time for us to start a new print. Put it through its paces and try all of the brand new features. We love the build volume. And uh, make sure you stay tuned for our product feature highlights where we'll go through all of those features in detail as well as some differences between some of the other models Bamboo has. Till next time, thanks for joining us at shop3d.ca. See you.